Hey guys, let's talk about something. Let's talk about something. Let's talk about how Obama is not the Antichrist. And let's also talk about how to be very immature when it comes to... If you, if you block somebody, if you don't want to talk to somebody, when they have a disagreement with you, that's immaturity. A brother... Or sister in Christ does not block other brothers and sisters in Christ because they have disagreements. They rebuke and correct. They discuss things. If if someone is an heir, why would you block them? If someone is if someone was an heir, wouldn't you correct them? Or rebuke them, not just block them. That's a maturity, and that's not a mature brother. Any, that's demonic right there. That's that's demonic manifestation right there. That's not of God. God wants us to rebuke and correct our brothers and sisters, not block them. Could we could we have a disagreement? That's immature and that's childish. That's immature. Why are you a first grader? That's immature. That's not how God expects us to act. Oh, and, uh, and Obama cannot be the Antichrist. He is colored. Oh, Satan is racist. Just because somebody gets a revelation on a fast. Does not mean that the fast is from God. Or, 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 or the <laughs> question. It does not mean the revelation is from God. A fast is sacred. So, and a fast can be used, and a fast can be used against demons, and is used against demons. When you're fasting, you can get deliverance. So, a way a demon or demons can pollute with poison, something like a sacred fast, is give you a false revelation, which dreams, when you're dreaming, you're in the spirit. So dreams are scenarios in the spirit, and most scenarios in the spirit are from demons. Like, most of them, most of them are from demons. So a way a demon can pollute a fast is to give you a false revelation and you yield to it. And you think it's from God because it has the Antichrist, it has um, um, a, a crafts of, of America or a dollar bill. You think it's from God. But demons think this is funny. They get a laugh out of this. They play you like a fiddle. They play like a fiddle. And you fall. A false revelation. The question is, after you got the revelation, did you intensely fast and fast and fast and make sure 100% without a shadow of a doubt, concrete, hardcore, 100% proof that it was from God. Did you have to write it down? If you have to write, if you have to write, if you have to write, if you have to write a scenario in the spirit, a dream down, it is not from God. If a brother comes to another brother to correct them, and they have a disagreement with the correction, it's an immature. Childish thing for the brother or, or, or sister, anyone in, within the body of Christ, to block them. No, if I'm an heir, correct me, show me. Let's play Bible. Let's talk. Don't you to a demon? And you're here telling you, oh, no, listen, this, 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 this guy. He's false. Welcome.
Block him. He's don't listen to him. Just block him. Don't even talk to him. Don't even talk to him about it like a mature brother. Just block him. That's demonic. God wouldn't do that. God would not do that. That's a demon. A demon told that person in the ear. Hey, don't listen to this person. This person is false. He's not even... I mean, he's false. Don't listen to him. He's in the air. Just block him. Don't even give him the time of day to have a conversation. To even collect him on his air. That's immature. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's demonic. You give it to a demon. That's not righteous at all. It's not of God. God wants us to correct and rebuke our brothers, not block them. If, if a brother or sister had the disagreement, we correct and we rebuke. We don't be childish babies and block them. I tell you what, the Antichrist could be a false Jesus. Like a new age Jesus. I mean, think about it. Wouldn't it be very deceiving if someday, like a, a man with long hair came down from the clouds or something like that, and he said, I'm, G and he said, I'm God, I'm Jesus. And he said that, and he, and he, and he comes of God, and he, and he blasphemed the little God. And, and, wouldn't that be deceiving? Would it be fall for that? And, and the number. And the number, his mark is 666, which is the number of man. The number, if you add up certain areas of our anatomy, whether it's like in our... We add up. If you get, we, we add up, our number, mankind's number, is 666. We add up. Mankind adds up. If you add it, like, if you measure or whatever, some parts of anatomy, or whatever, like a, like a, Whatever. You get, you, get, you get what I'm trying to say? If you add up us, or measure us, or whatever, we add up. We come to, we come up to be 666. Our number, mankind's number, is 666. It's an input, it's a number of imperfection. It's a number of it's a number of imperfection. Six six six. That's why our number is six six six. Because it's a number of it's a fallen. It's it's a number of imperfection. So you know what I'm saying? It's like an incomplete number of Incompletion of un of imperfection. A fallen number six six six, and also with and also there is demons get power witchcraft power witchcraft power off of the number six six six. So and there is a six there is a six 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 hand sign. I know. Go ahead, look it up. Look it up. Look up 666, the 666 hand sign. Okay? Okay, guys. Oh, I could. But if you're showing immaturity, you need to repent. You need to repent. This is. Unacceptable. It's unacceptable.
It's not a god. It's demonic. Okay, son. You need to repent for the immaturity if you're practicing it. Like a brother. Alright, I'm gonna go over to I just talked, I, I talked, I was like, I talked to a brother. God could tell me that, to tell this brother that, the, that Obama cannot be the Antichrist. And, and then, he, and however, however long after that, he blocked me. Or whatever he did. But it's immature. He didn't bother to give me a call or correct me or rebuke me. He didn't bother to show me how I'm wrong. And he, he just... It's, it's foolish. That's it not of God. It's immature. And you need to repent. If, you, if, God, led you, if God led you to this video... You need to repent for your immaturity. It's not of God. Where in the Bible did that say to do that? Like, oh, he doesn't. He doesn't agree with me. We're in disagreement. Block. I want to talk to this. It's demonic. It's not of God. Repent. 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 Or you'll be judged for every, every idle word. Every foolish thing you ever, you ever have done, you'll be judged for on Judgment Day. Everything you should have repented for, but you did not. Everything that you, anything that you should have fixed. That you did not, you'll be judged for it on Judgment Day. Same with me. Every foolish thing that I have done, or everything that I should have done, or should have resolved, I will be judged for it. If I, everything that I should, everything that I have the opportunity to fix, you get what I'm saying? That I should that I need it, that I should fix. But I don't fix. I'll be judged for it. You get what I'm saying? And everything, every every everything that I should not have done, that I've done, that I don't repent for, I'll be judged for it. And everything that I should have done but I did not do, I'll be judged for it. Same with you. Repent for your immaturity. Repent. Son of God. Would Paul do that? Would Peter? Would Jesus do that? Would Jesus say, oh, we're in, we're in disagreement. Walk. No, he wouldn't. Show me one example in the Bible. Where someone was in disagreement with Jesus. Or, in, or someone, or someone, or show me one example in the Bible. When, when, when someone was in disagreement with Paul. And he just said, forget you. Get, get out of my sight. Show me. It's not of God. Repent. And be blessed in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Bye.